bad, George. You're supposed to be a professional athlete. You see that pass that he gave me? He stitched me up. Well, well, well the necessary though. How's my hair, George? Huh. We okay? I don't have a flippy screen on this thing, so I can't really tell. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the pre preseason series, episode seven? Possibly seven? Oh, hey, baby mama. I'm out here with Georgie, and uh, Kitman Moy is nowhere to be found once again. <laughs> because he decided to uh, go up north with his girlfriend. He could have been out here training, working hard, getting better as a footballer, and instead he decided to go and be with his girlfriend. Unacceptable, right, Georgie? Unacceptable, man. Unacceptable. Can't, can't happen. That's a fine. Unacceptable, right, baby mama? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Another light intensity session. Georgie's complaining about his groin, as he always is. So today's gonna be just a little bit different as far as the exercises go. Usually what I do is one person's working, one person's resting. Today, all of the exercises are gonna be combinations between me and Georgie, where we're both working at the same time. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the pre preseason series, episode 7. Back at it again with the voiceovers. I know I didn't do a voiceover in the last episode, but we're bringing it back. Coach Javi's feeling it tonight. So I did want to base this voiceover uh, on a question that we got from a subscriber, William Kavak, who says, Mental health for players is something that's been an issue for a while. Awareness has increased a lot recently, but for the Q&A, you have a very good mentality that we can definitely see in your videos. You've been through a lot in your career with injuries and lack of consistency from where you'll be living and who you'll be playing with. So how have you been able to work through those struggles? What has helped you prepare and cope with things like that, both on and off the field, and is mental health something you try to improve and maintain? I thought this was a really good question, so I figured I'd answer it while you guys are uh, watching the session here. For me, there's a few things. The, the first the first thing is I had a very, very good upbringing. So as far as like the way my parents raised me, um, the way my brother looked out for me, my friends and, and all the people that I surrounded myself with, all of those things were positive as I was growing up. So I think one of the things that stuck with me from a young age that my dad told me was he said that no matter what obstacle is in front of us, no matter what the issue or the situation or the problem is, there's always a way to get through it. So I adapted that mentality of trying to always figure out what the solution can be because there always is a solution. So don't let people tell you that you can't do something or that there's no possible way to do it. At the end of the day, there's always a way and you're bound to figure it out if you keep trying. So that's a big piece of advice that I've gotten from my dad that's pushed me to get to where I am today and uh, will hopefully continue to guide me as I continue in my journey. The other thing that I think I've adapted that's important for me as far as uh, my mentality is remembering that we are very, very lucky to be 
able to do what we do. So a lot of people are worried about, you know, maybe not making their high school varsity team, maybe not being able to get a scholarship. The fact that we can go out and play football without having to worry about some of the things that people in other parts of the world have to worry about is already a gift that we can't take for granted. So when you think about maybe you got cut from your team or maybe you're not getting as much playing time as you'd like, think about the people that every day they wake up and they're not sure what they're gonna have for breakfast or lunch or dinner, not even sure if they're gonna eat that day. I'm fortunate that when I wake up, I get to do what I love for a living. So for me to wake up in a bad mood or mentally just not be positive, it's not fair to other people around the world who are struggling with issues that are a lot worse than mine. So there is a quote from Zinedine Zidane, which I'll post up here on the screen somewhere, but pretty much he said, I once cried because I had no shoes to play football with my friends, but one day I saw a man who had no feet and I realized how rich I am. So ever since I saw that quote, I realized that I really can't be complaining about some of the problems that I face on a day-to-day -day basis, because like I said, there's so many worse things that could happen or there's so many worse situations that I could be in. So the fact that I'm able to get up and do what I love for a living every single day without a a real worry in comparison that keeps me happy and that keeps me positive apart from that it's also the fact that when i post these videos on youtube i get a lot of positive comments and that encourages me to continue posting content and continue doing what what i do on a day-to-day -day basis and the last component is i think people are quick to focus on the negative and i try to always focus on the positive a lot of people on their path to success are focused more on you know what you call the haters and the people who say that they're not going to make it and they don't have what it takes all that kind of stuff if i'm being realistic and if i'm being honest i never had that many people in my life that were like that i've surrounded myself with positive people who have always encouraged me to continue to grow who have always helped me who have always sacrificed for me as well so i think it would be disrespectful if I adapted that mentality of doing this because my hater said I couldn't do it. Instead, I adapted this mentality of I do it because all the people that supported me, all the people that believed in me, all of those people would be disappointed and would be let down if I don't fulfill my potential. So that's the way I look at it. I'm thankful every single day for all those people that have supported me and all those people who were close to me. And I don't think about all the negative comments that I might receive on YouTube. I don't really think I have haters, if I'm being honest. I think I just have a lot of good, positive people in my life who have supported me to the point where I am today. So very good question. I thought I'd kind of base this entire video or this entire voiceover at least on that question. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, go ahead, leave them down in the comment section below and I will try and answer those in a future episode. But uh, yeah, let's get back to the video. And that wraps up another episode in the pre preseason series, episode seven. So if you guys liked it, go ahead, hit that thumbs up, make sure you subscribe and uh, go ahead and get yourself some fresh champion grind merch. Use my code Javi10 for a little bit of a discount. Appreciate you guys watching, following along with the channel. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. Till next time, adios muchachos.